Hi, I'm Mike, and today is something brand new and very exciting for the ranch. Hustler Equipment has 10 new attachments available and has given us the opportunity to test and evaluate and eliminate from the ranch each and every one. Over the next few months, we're going to take each one out and put it through its paces. In some cases, we'll be comparing to existing equipment on the ranch. In others, we might be finding whole new uses. And at the end of each episode, we'll declare each new implement a winner or a loser for our ranch and decide if it stays or if it goes. It's the Hustler Equipment Showdown, and it's only on our Wyoming Life. guys welcome back to the our Wyoming life hustler showdown uh, weather was a lot nicer back then today we're sitting at about 14 degrees snow is starting to fall or I don't know if it's ever stopped over the last few days and we have something very interesting and very unique to test uh, on the hustler showdown today and that are well that is hustler buckets. Uh, we've actually got three separate Hustler buckets today that we're going to be testing and putting head-to-head -head against the original John Deere bucket and grapples. Now all the buckets that we have from Hustler do have grapples involved in some sort or fashion, but are they all suited to do what we need to do here on the ranch or should we just stick with the old and tried and true original bucket? and grapple. Let's take a quick look around as we start with the plan. So I mentioned that we have three different buckets to test today and we have what's called the Hustler Grab Max, we have the Hustler Dino Max, and then we actually have an experimental bucket that we're going to get started with uh, that doesn't even have a name. Maybe you could suggest a name uh, to Hustler Equipment. But this is the Grab Max bucket. Now if you notice a couple interesting things about this bucket is there's no bottom to this bucket. This bucket is literally all teeth. They should have called it the alligator because it is just teeth everywhere sticking out of this thing. And the other interesting thing about it is that it's actually a split bucket. Now I haven't hooked any of these up yet, but I do know that this bucket has one set of hydraulics that runs both sides of the grapples. I guess I keep on calling it a bucket, but it's not really a bucket. But when we bring this down on the bale, how is that going to affect what we're doing. The other bucket that we're going to be grabbing with today, this is the Dynomax bucket. Now this thing is a beast. This bucket weighs thousands of pounds and honestly I hooked it up to my skid steer and it was all the skid steer could do practically to lift it. So this is a really heavy bucket and it's made for a, a multiple, multiple different purposes. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed is it would be a really good bucket for like logging or something like that because on the side of the bucket you actually have panels right here that you can take off and that would allow a whole log to sit right inside this bucket. These teeth on this bucket or grapples uh, are ridiculous. There's one spaced about every foot and it is a total, total beast. So that are, those are the two buckets that have names. We're going to swing over here and take a look at the first bucket we're going to be testing and that is the experimental bucket that doesn't even really have a name yet. All right, so here we go. This is the experimental bucket that we're looking at. And when we compare it side by side with our factory John Deere bucket, there are a few differences you can tell right away. Uh, number one, this bucket on this side has a lot taller profile. Now I'm guessing that profile is there to help you when you're going to grab bales, to get up and over bales and around bales. Uh, one of the things we're gonna be testing today is the ability for these tractors to pick up bales using the, the grapples and the bale spears. Uh, we're gonna be testing it on single bales, but we're also gonna be testing it on double bales because if you can pick up two bales relatively easily with these buckets, that saves you trips when you're feeding, which in turn saves you fuel and also saves you Time. So as we get into our plan of attack, 
uh, what we're going to do is we are going to utilize each one of these tractors to grab two separate bales uh, or two separate piles of bales let's put it that way because back here i've got two single bales set up and then on this side i've got two double bales set up and what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab those bales using each one of our tractors respectively we're going to use the john deere 64 20 and the John Deere 6410, both of which have the same exact number of horsepower, about 95, and the same lifting capacity, about 4,000 pounds max. So we are going to use these tractors to lift up our bales. Once we get them up in the air um, side by side, we can take a look at them and see how the bales are grabbed, how secure they are, and everything else that we really worry about when we're grabbing bales and moving them down the road or even just across the field. Then. Once we get that done with these two buckets, we're going to switch the bucket out on the 6420 for a different bucket and compare it to the John Deere 640, I guess, which is what this bucket is, the 6400, no, 640, 640, <laughs> 640 bucket. So I'm out here doing this alone. Um, this is our first Hustler showdown since Jeff left. So uh, I'm going to be kind of jumping back and forth a little bit here and there, and hopefully we can get this done relatively quickly. That's our plan. Now it's time for the tests. <laughs> Testing for us today is going to start with just a single bale. We are going to lift that bale with, right now we're in the 6420. This is our uh, feeding tractor that we've had on the ranch for, oh my gosh, when did Gilbert buy this tractor? Um, I wanna say like 2015, something like that. Um, no, it had to be before that. Gilbert bought this tractor in 2005, that's right. So this tractor has been on the ranch since 2005. Uh, it makes it our newest tractor on the ranch. And uh, we are going to just kind of swing over here to a bale. We're going to lift it up, and then we'll grab the other tractor and lift up the other bale. Each one of these bales, by the way, uh, weighs about 1,400 pounds. Uh, that's not really too much of a concern weight-wise. That's on the tractor, not so much on the bucket. But we tried to get bales that were relatively close within just a few inches of the same size also. So we're gonna grab this bale first with our tractor. And there we go, we got the single bale. Super simple, super easy. Now we grab the 6410 tractor and with the Hustler bucket, this is the experimental bucket, we're gonna come and do the same thing with the other bale. And there we go, a side-by-side -side comparison of these two bales, two different styles of buckets, but really, they're pretty dang close. They look almost identical, the way that they're sitting in the bucket. Um, if, not, if nothing else, it seems like the Hustler seems to have a little bit more room when it's wide open to be able to come down over that bale. Might have a little bit more, I think the Hustler has a little bit more of a secure hold on the single bale. But the big question is, with two bales, how does it work out? There's only one way to tell, and that's to come in and grab some bales. First, we come in with our John Deere bucket. I'm just gonna grab both bales, same time. Up we, oh, look at that. That one slipped off of there. Let's try that again. Didn't have a very good grip there. Let's try again. See if we can get a better grip on these two bales.
All right. The John Deere tractor really not seeming to have any trouble with two bales on that, with that grapple and that bucket. This is the experimental Hustler bucket. We're gonna see how this one does. Both tractors not seeming to have any trouble grabbing a hold of the, both of these bales. Um, the only difference that I can really see, and I'll probably need a step ladder to show this to you guys, is that with the higher profile of the, the Hustler grapples here, um, we've got a lot more gap. It doesn't seem to be holding quite as tight onto two bales, um, especially in this orientation where they're running like this, uh, whereas the John Deere bucket seems to be holding just a little bit tighter. This one, has got a lot more way up in the air. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the bales here on the 6420. This is the one with our experimental uh, Hustlers buckets. We're gonna go ahead and let this one down. We're gonna let these two bales go because we have two more buckets to test. And so we're gonna switch this bucket out really quick for another one and uh, get back over here and lift this up again. See if we can do it. come around with the grab max now this one I'm pretty excited about this is seems like if it's gonna hold two bales this one's definitely gonna do it grab those bales like a champ. I, they aren't going nowhere. That thing has, it's got a foot, foot and a half a hold uh, on the top, a full, what, probably two feet on the, it's right through the middle. So it's just like a spear or anything else, definitely holds on to that bale very, very nicely. But what about a single bale? Well, let's get rid of these two. We'll go over and find out. First thing we're gonna do is try grabbing it from the side. Look at that, that's not really gonna work. But what we can do is maybe get up at an angle like this to be able to grab it. Huh, really doesn't work. So what we're stuck with, and with this one, we have to get it from the ends. And there we go. The uh, Grab Max definitely made for two bales. It's uh, pretty obvious that it works best when you're hauling two bales. One bale might be a little bit more trouble than it's worth. 
you'd probably be better off just to use a regular spear. Now we can get rid of the Grab Max and we're gonna switch over to the Beast, the Dino Grab. Dino grab bucket up against the John Deere. The Dino grab bucket doing its job just one little problem. If you're looking for a heavy duty bucket, and I know I'm gonna find some other uses for this bucket uh, besides just moving hay around, but if you're looking for a heavy duty bucket, this bucket is a beast. The problem is this bucket's a beast. So I've got two 1400 pound bales, I've got the weight of the bucket, and it's about all that the tractor can do <laughs> to lift up those two bales. Look at these tires. That's a little bit of a squat. So, while the bucket is awesome, heavy duty bucket, like it's, it's, <laughs> it's a lot for that bucket to do. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna put the, the dyno grab um, head to head up against the old John Deere bucket on just a single bale and see what that looks like. I gotta tell you, here's one really cool thing about what we do or what we try to do here on YouTube. With the testing of this equipment, we only work with companies that want a true review, a true test of what we do with them here on the ranch. There's a lot of companies out there that will want to review your videos, they'll want to send back changes. Uh, we don't work with those companies. We want companies that want to get a real review and Hustler Equipment taking a huge leap of faith with us in saying, hey, we're gonna send you some equipment to test. We wanna know what you really think about it. And for that, there's, it, it's a huge compliment to us, but also it's a huge indicator of the company itself. Hustler Equipment, great people to work with. And any one of these buckets, a true, true value to any farm and ranch. But you are gonna have to take some time to figure out what exactly you're gonna use them for. And if I had a bigger tractor, this dyno grab bucket would be no problem uh, to pick up two bales. That thing, I mean, it grabs bales. It's got them. There ain't no, no letting go. This thing's got more teeth uh, than, well, it's got a lot of teeth. And in our last test for the day, we are gonna use those teeth to grab hold of this bale. Last test complete. Obviously, to me, it looks like the John Deere has a little bit better grip on this bale than the Dino Grab does, than the Hustler Dino Grab. But now, again, if you're hauling two bales, you flip them around, you go the other way, it's got a hold of them. But I'm a little bit more secure over on this side. So. That's it for the buckets. Uh, when it comes down to it, my general result with the entire thing would be it depends on what you're using it for. 
Um, if you're grabbing two bales, if you're grabbing from the ends, you're grabbing from the sides, all of these are different variables that are going to make a huge difference in the way that these buckets work. So honestly, for the first time, and this is our third Hustler showdown, um, I'm going to have to say that I don't really have an answer because there's so many other things you can do with these buckets besides just grabbing bales. So we're going to continue to test these buckets and you're going to see them pop up again throughout uh, the entire year, probably 2023, as we find different uses for each one of these buckets.